welcome back. Right, I just got back off a beach hunt. And uh, just, just before the video starts, I just want to uh, mention a couple of things. Right, um, there's going to be no more car videos on this channel. I've set up another channel called Let's Fix It. And um, all car stuff is going to be on there from now on. Um, I've taken the two engine rebuild videos down off from this channel and uploaded them to Let's Fix It. So if you want to keep up with the car stuff, then go check out that channel and the link for that channel will be downstairs. And I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you, if, you, know, if you want to follow the, the car stuff, then um, go subscribe to that one and that's where I'll be uploading the automotive things. Um, second thing, anybody want to buy an 80 Pro? Yep, my 80 Pro is for sale. Um, you've, you've all seen it working. It works absolutely flawlessly. Not a problem with it at all. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna change detectors now. I'm gonna go for something else. Um, <clears throat> I've just been out on the beach with it tonight in the wet sand, which you'll see in a minute, and it it, it works absolutely flawlessly. Um, Condition-wise, well, it's pretty much damn mint to be honest. Um, you will get the original box headphones that come with it, um, eight Duracell AA batteries and a charger. So you won't have to worry about buying batteries for it, just recharge them. Um, you get the DVD which has been unopened and it's probably the same as what you find on YouTube anyway. And obviously the instruction book. Um, but yeah, price is 380 quid. Um, I'm offering it on here first before I stick it on eBay or wherever. Um, so if anybody wants, is interested in it, drop me an email, idetectsw at gmail.com. And um, we'll sort something out. Right, let's get on with the hunt and I'll see you in the roundup. First target with the 80 Pro in wet sand. And it's just a one pence. Well, there you go, just to prove it does work in wet sand. I'm very close to the, to the sea. There you go, I'll show you the settings that I'm using on this. And uh, yeah, just to prove, yeah, it does work in wet sand. Right, see you on the next one. Right, next up. We have a Topi. Been a bit slow going to today, but uh, here we'll press on. It's dark now, so I've using the, got the uh, torch on on the phone and uh, a, a headlamp as well. All right, moving on then. Next up, it is another one pence. And one thing to note about these modern copper coins on the beach, you will get an iron grunt with them. Because look at that, that's the rust that's bleeding out from the iron core of the coin. So. It'll give you a good like 77, but there'll be like an iron grunt in it, in it as well. So it's worth digging them because it's not always iron. Right, see you on the next hole. And another one, and that is, is that a 2p or a 10p? Um, I'm cleaning up when I get in. It's silverish, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be a 10p. But that was a terrible signal and it's very close to the surface and it was given like a zero to like a 99 and I thought oh, I was just going to be a bit of iron but I lifted the detector up off the ground because the signal was so loud and uh, the signal calmed down a bit so uh, I gave it a dig and there we go and that's in if you can't get wetter sand than that that's proper wet so there we go another coin right see you on the next one so I've got mine set up. Got the uh, iron disc at 35. Sensitivity two bars from the top or three bars from the top, depending on how bad it is. Um, and the ground balance on the wet sand is on 17. And this is why it's important to ground balance when you move from the dry to the damp to the wet. If I ground balance this now, as you can see, we're on dry sand now. If I ground balance this now. Now on 76, which is pretty much what it would be on uh, on like a field. So it's important to ground balance it. Right, see you on the next hole. And next up, just unearthed him with a pinpointer. 5p, that's very recent. Right, see you in a bit. Right, next target is that. I uh, pulled, flicked the dirt out of the hole there. A lot of sand, and I see it shining as it flew out the hole. That's a 10 pence. Yeah, I've dug hardly any rubbish tonight. I think I've had one ring pull and a bottle top and the rest has all been coins. 
Right, awesome. Right, I'll see you on the next one. I'm on my way back to the car now, so if there's anything between here and the car, I'll see you on it. And another two pence. Lovely job. Right, see you on the next one. And there is the result of tonight's hunt. Um, £2.30. Better than nothing, I suppose. Um, our best find has to be... And a little digging thing for my daughter right color as well so she can have that um yeah the only i didn't do any live digs really because um i didn't bring my selfie stick with me so i couldn't attach the um phone to the detector um i did one kind of live dig with a pinpointer and that's when i found the two pound coin and this is how the footage came out so yeah that was awesome so sod's law bit me in the ass again um, whilst I was there, I got approached by somebody who'd lost some keys and asked, they asked me if I'd found them. I hadn't found them and uh, I didn't go on to find them, but I did take their phone number and I said, if I do find them, I'll give them a ring. Um, I didn't find them, but if anybody goes detecting on Barry Beach or Jackson's Bay, because that's, they were, they were walking between the two beaches and um they do stumble across a set of keys uh can you drop me an email i detect sw at gmail.com um and we can sort out getting them back to the the owner that'd be appreciated right that's it for this time thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one